video we're going to be overwriting configuration in settings PHP. We're going to be using the configuration management API. We're going to edit something from the interface. Then we're going to edit it or overwrite it from the settings PHP file. And we're going to see how we can get the actual values with Rush. So here we have a Drupal instance and every Drupal instance has the site name. So if we go to configuration and basic site settings under site name, we see that we have here the site name, which is currently Drupal up is great. We're going to change it and changing it from the interface is easy. You see the change value here. As you go to the front page, you see also the change value here and everything is nice. But if you want to change something from the settings PHP, if you go to your Drupal instance and under sites and default, usually have the settings PHP. And there is a nice example here of how to override configuration. And that is something that comes really handy every now and then. So here we have exactly the configuration that we just changed from the front end. And it's getting the system site name. So this configuration is defined by core. If we go to core and then modules and then system, we see that there is a config folder and there is a file called system site. And basically here is defined the schema for the structure of this configuration object. So system site name, and here we could say something, my Drupal site, oh, overwritten from settings PHP. So, and as we save it, we see that as we here refresh and clear the cache, we would get the new value that is actually defined in the settings PHP. So my Drupal site overwritten from settings PHP, which is cool, but the interesting part comes when you go to configuration and basic site settings, you see that here is the actual database value and that is a bug that you should be aware in Drupal core that it's not actually showing the overwritten value. So here if you change something it would not change because as it's explicitly said here in the settings PHP it would always have this value. But there is a way to get the actual value and it is possible with the help of Drush. So as you select here your Drupal instance and as you go to more and open console, you are getting here Drush. And as you say Drush config get and as you say the configuration that is here we are going to first get the wrong value so this is not the overwritten value but if we check the drush help page of the config get we see that there is a option code include overridden. So let's go ahead and run the same command, but with include overridden. And here we're getting the correct value, which is from the settings PHP. And 
which is the value that is basically appearing on the page which is more important so this is how to override values from the configuration and how to see their actual values if you like this video please check the links in the description subscribe comment if you have any questions share on your social media and thanks for watching